Hi, this is Colleen for all the cool crone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be an angel card reading with new messages that your angels want you to hear now. So this is the reading for those of you who picked the beautiful honey calcite heart. And this is your angel reading with new messages from your angels for you. We start off with the five of Ariel. And the five of Ariel is telling you that you don't have to suffer. You don't have to go through things that are really, really uncomfortable. And you don't have to go through these challenges that you're having alone. There is help around you. And it may be that this situation is slightly in the past or it might be right now. But know that if you're allowing negative thoughts to creep into your thinking, that's prolonging this situation. The next card is the King of Raphael. Warm, generous, honorable, refined. And he says it's safe to trust. It's safe to trust him to help you. It's safe to trust people who are around you who are showing your love and it's also he's also telling you to follow your creative passions you may have an idea that you need to get out creatively either in a song or a painting or words or a video or whatever but some sort of creative expression of your idea needs to be expressed and then you'll you'll do much better but whatever situation you're in right now know that you have archangel sandalphon giving you divine guidance now archangel sandalphon is an angel that guides us with spiritual knowledge and understanding so when you start to open up when you start to really raise up vibrationally and when you start to feel like you're your whole self that's when Angel Sandalphon can really help you. It says, the search for meanings in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise, wise teachers and friends. Now, the alternative approach may be just that you, you are seeking a spiritual approach to your, to your issues in life. And that's a really good thing to do. Looking within is always a good thing to do. And then we come to the King of Ariel. And the King of Ariel is akin to the King of Pentacles. And this is promising substantial success, accomplishment. It shows that you can be powerful and successful. And it says that your plans are working and they're working very well. I'm trying to get that to focus. Professional and financial success, using your resources wisely. So this is saying that your plans can work out very, very well. I think a lot of these cards, as I looked through them, I think a lot of the message is to trust yourself. And if you can't trust yourself completely, trust your angels and allow them to guide you. And in particular, Angel, Archangel Sandalphon, Ariel, and Raphael. And then we have the six of, Raph of Ariel. And this is saying that your material needs are going to be fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. People are going to bestow acts of kindness on you and you should just receive them with a grateful heart. Don't worry about paying people back. Just receive what it is that they're offering with a grateful 
heart. This is a beautiful message of the angels allowing you to um, come out of a difficult negative situation and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So that idea that the King of Raphael was talking about is also going to be talked about here. In the Goddess Guidance cards, it says, Brilliant Idea. Your idea is divinely guided. Take action and bring your idea to fruition. So the angels are telling you to go for it. You've got this creative passion burning up inside of you, and you need to trust that that's a wonderful thing to pursue. And if you, you know, of course, when you're in a situation where you're suffering, everybody thinks that they shouldn't take a chance. Everybody thinks they should play it safe and just try to get through to the next whatever, the next month, the next paycheck, the next job. But what the angels are telling you is you need to express yourself and you need to express this brilliant idea. And the next card kind of reinforces and it's it's interesting I put it right underneath the card for divine guidance it's the an, the an, angel answer cards and it says <laughs> well you can read it and I say this all the time if you meditate if you go within you will find the answers to every single question that you have in your life you just need to trust that those answers will come and in this case, trust your angels. Your angels are all around you, helping you. This is a wonderful reading. This is showing so much support and love for whatever situation you're in and so much guidance to help you move out of a negative situation and into a positive one where you feel financially successful and secure and you're rewarded for this great idea that you have. And the last card that I have, I picked out of the Crystal Angels Oracle deck, and it says, Fluorite, natural beauty and authenticity. Be yourself as God made you, naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. And this is the card. And I'm just going to put the card down for a moment. And I, when I bought this deck, it did not come with the guidebook, but I have the guidebook online. So I'm just going to pull up the fluorite section and read that to you. So it says, you may be guided to be more real in your physical appearance, such as ditching hair dye or artificial tanning, eyelashes or fingernails. Um, this is a sign of embracing and loving your true self and owning who you are. So this card is about feeling comfortable and happy with you exactly the way you are. And I always say this, you are perfect just the way you are, and you are in the exact right place for where you need to be at this exact moment in your life. So now it's time to be you, the wonderful and amazing you, just the way God created you. And this may involve you speaking more from your heart, speaking out for yourself, letting people know your real thoughts and feelings, and not worrying so much about approval. It's a signal that you need to just get real with who you really are. So fluorite is often used for scientific optic lenses, and it comes in a variety of colors. I have fluorite here. I'm trying to find, oh, I usually take it with me when I do readings because it's really good to focus your energy. So fluorite very often is a lighter shade of purple than an amethyst, and then it's also very green, sort of like a, a peridot. So it can go between those two colors. It can also be clear and pink. So you may find fluorite in all sorts of different colors. Green is especially good for intellectual activities and healthy skin. Uh, the rainbow fluorite is great for healing and also for protecting from psychic attack or traumas. So really, oh, purple is good to enhance clairvoyance and spiritual understanding, similar to amethyst. So if you can find yourself a little fluorite, that's all you need is a little piece. That will be very, very helpful in your life right now. So that's the reading that I have for the honey calcite heart the people who chose that card. And now I'm going to go on to the Blue Angel Light.
So this reading now is Pile 2, The People Who Chose the Blue Angel Light. This is the um, Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot, and we start off with Life Experience Archangel Shamuel. So this is talking about a significant life event, a revelation that leads to change and time to spread your wings. So life is throwing you some kind of a curveball, something that's going to change the way your daily life goes and will inevitably change the direction of your life from that point on. And this is not something to be feared. This is something to embrace. This experience will teach you a lot of life le lessons, things that you couldn't have learned up until this point. And it will bring blessings because it's going to introduce you to Archangel Shamuel and it's also going to help you move forward in your life. And the next card is Ego Archangel Jophio. It says a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. And this actually comes up a couple times in your reading. It's important for you to understand that material wealth will not bring happiness. That this sense of entrapment is of your own making because you've decided that you just absolutely must have certain superficial things in your life. Once you let go of that, then you can step into a much more fulfilling life. And I think that this is related to the first card, the life experience. I think part of, part of this life experience is going to show you just how trapped you are with your material world. Now the next card that comes up is the Knight of Earth loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind, and he says time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. He's a guardian angel. But this angel also is probably a vegetarian. He's probably somebody who honors the earth, who respects and reveres the earth, and he is here to help you make a new start. So if you are not an earth sign, which would be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, then look for a person who is and that person is somebody who's going to help you walk out of the difficult situation that you find yourself in that's indicated by the first two cards. Then we have the Eight of Earth, and this shows you at work using some kind of skill, either that you already have or that you are learning. So you may want to go back to school and learn more things so that you can be better at this job, but I think you already have cert a certain skill set in this area so you're going to be returning to a job where you have to really focus on things and your skill and your work at that task is going to be rewarded. So that's really, really nice. And then another helper here is the Queen of Water, tender-hearted, empathetic, patient and loving, relationships developed to a new level, trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. So you're going to be in a position where you can help others as well. And I think this is where you're going to be able to pay it forward. You're going to feel really good about this because in the first two cards, this life experience thing that you're going through and the entrapment that you're feeling could lead you to feel bad about yourself for a little while. And you want to ask your angels to help you get out of that. So this is not giving us an, uh, an angel's name, but any of the archangels that you feel affinity with, reach out to them. And going back over these other cards, we have Archangel Archangel Jophiel and Archangel Shamuel. So be sure to reach out to both of them, especially when you're coming up on this challenging time. Now, the next card that we have is from the Messages from the Angels, and it is Omega victory, your desire is coming to fruition, keep up the good work. So I do think that you're going to let the Knight of Earth and the Queen of Water help you. And as you do, you're going to feel a feeling of success and victory, something you may not have felt for a long time. So this is going to feel really, really good. And the people around you will also be saying keep up the good work. But don't forget that the angels are also going to be with you so you're never alone. You can always talk to your angels. They're always there working with you, whether it's the archangels or your guardian angels or all of them. They're always there for you to talk to. And then we have from Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards, we have Coventina. She's a, a Celtic goddess. She's goddess of purification. 
And it says, it is time for cleansing, detoxic detoxification of your body and mind. So part of this experience that you're going through, I'm afraid, has led you to abuse your body in some way. So either you are drinking too much or eating too many of the wrong things or eating things that you know make you sick or maybe even doing drugs or not getting enough sleep or something. Something that you're doing, you need to detoxify your body from. So you need to go into this. And I think that's why it was important that you got the Knight of Earth because that person reveres the earth and is probably a vegetarian and they probably live at least a little cleaner than you. So they could teach you how to start living cleaner so that you take care of your body and your body will respond really quickly. The human body is an amazing machine. It doesn't ask for very much in order to function at optimal levels. All it asks is that you, you give it clean food, plenty of water, plenty of sleep, and some exercise, and you'll be, you know, fighting fit in no time. And then we have, from the Crystal Angels, we have the Peridot Life Lessons, and this also talks about healing yourself. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. I'm going to show you the card, and then I'm going to read what it says about Peridot really pretty stone. I love Peridot. It's my daughter's birthstone. So I'll put that down right side up so that you can focus on that card and then I will read the section on Peridot. And it says, um, this reassurance, this is reassurance that the challenges that you're experiencing bring you valuable life lessons. That was the first card, life experience. Okay. So, upsetting situations aren't tests. They are experiences that help us learn truths about ourselves and others. If you keep experiencing recurring patterns, the key to breaking free from the negative cycles is understanding the lesson they offer you. For instance, a series of negative relationships could be an opportunity for you to look at your levels of self-esteem. Are you settling for unhealthy relationships because of a feeling that you can't have a healthy partnership? Similar insights can heal negative patterns related to your career, your health, and other life areas. Ask God to reveal the underlying lesson within a troubling situation. Be open to seeing the role you may have played in accepting these patterns. The intent is not to blame yourself, but to assume responsibility for your part as a way of empowering you to take charge of the pattern and not to allow it to continue with the angel's help, of course. So Peridot is a translucent green stone and it is uplifting positive energy that will help with mental focus and clarity, study, and decision making. So I encourage you, if you can get a small peridot, that might be really, really helpful. I happen to have a small ring that I wear in honor of my daughter in peridot, and every once in a while I really feel the need to wear it all the time. So that is the reading for the people who picked the blue, so, uh, not celestite, the blue angel light. So thank you for listening to that. Please leave me some comments down below. And now we're moving on to the Selenite reading. All right, this is the reading for those of you who picked the palm stone, the white Selenite. And let's get started. So I've got five tarot cards here. And then I had some cards from the Angel Therapy Oracle deck, and two of them came out of the deck, so you get two of those cards. We have a card from the Divine Feminine Oracle, and also from the Crystal Angels deck, which will give you a stone to look for. So let's start out with the tarot cards. This is the Influence of the Angels tarot card deck, and I really like the artwork on this deck. It's all taken, I think, from um, Renaissance paintings, it looks like. and. The first one is the Ten of Pentacles, and you have the angel flying in the background. You can see through their window. And this couple is sitting with their baby and with a chest full of jewels and money on the table, and the man is holding a book. Even the baby has a necklace of some kind or a sash and a medallion on. So this is a family of very good means, of really high, high level of uh, living. And this card, the Ten of Pentacles, says that you are a person who appreciates legacy and you have probably amassed some kind of money, fortune, legacy, investments, something that makes you feel fairly secure 
in what you are doing. And the angels are here to say, but don't think that money is everything. You also need to live life so that you feel good about yourself. And the second card is the Six of Pentacles, which shows a woman of much means giving alms to a poor couple with the angel overhead rejoicing because there is much benefit in giving as much as in receiving. And one of the messages of this card is to, is to say, make sure that you appreciate that there is a joy and, a, and an act of love in giving to others who deserve it, just as the people who need the help appreciate it, but also feel that they are allowing you to give something to them. And that's what the whole energy exchange is about. You're giving them money, which is energy, and they are giving you love and respect back. So everybody's getting something out of the bargain. And that's what the angels want you to know about your situation now. You have the means to give to others. So you should be very generous with that. The next card is the Queen of Swords. And in this deck, the Queen of Swords, she holds a paper and a pen, and she also has an angel flying close by. And she is a person who really believes that words and education and truth have meaning. And that everybody, especially women, should be allowed to be educated to as high of a level as they want. So that's her focus in life. That's how she gives back. Yes, she is also a woman of some means, but she gives back and it's her mission to give back. So she uses her wealth as a platform to be able to reach out to women of lesser means and give them something valuable. She may also help women of means learn to read and write and communicate and do things that are more intellectual. But in this picture, it's Renaissance time. So we're talking about poor, the peasant class, or wealthy, you know, the wealthy class. And there's some sort of working class in between that's just kind of, you know, hard to pin down. And then we have the Eight of Wands. And in this deck, you'll notice that the Eight of Wands is a herd of horses running. And the angel is blowing his horn. It looks like Gabriel. But each of the horses has a wand in its mouth and this signifies unbridled energy nobody's stopping these horses from going where they need to go so this is saying that there's lots of energy you're going to have lots of energy and you're going to have lots of things coming at you in the next few weeks and that's going to allow you to exercise this feeling that you're getting in the first three cards so whatever situation you're in now, maybe you're depressed, maybe you're not feeling too good about yourself, recognize that you have means. Whatever you're doing else in your life, you have means, you can share it with others, and it doesn't have to be just money that you share with others. You can share your learning, you can share your gift of education or skill, or just a, a hobby that you have that you can teach to people, gardening for instance, or fixing clocks or lamps or something. Whatever you can give to others, you should give to others because it's going to make you feel better, it's going to enrich your life, and it's going to enrich theirs. And by doing that, you'll have a whole lot of energy coming towards you for new projects so that you can do more and more and more of that. And then we get the Six of Wands, and the Six of Wands is the victory card. And this is saying that everything is aligning in the universe to make you victorious, which is going to make you feel like a million bucks. So the angels here are saying, don't be shy. Step out and try. Just try what we're suggesting, and you will reap wonderful rewards that benefit you greatly. All right, and then we have our oracle cards, and we've got two oracle cards here from the Doreen Virtue Angel Therapy Oracle Cards deck. So the first one is visualize success, and I think that's kind of an obvious thing to do. See yourself doing well in the situation and have faith in a positive outcome. And the angels want you to know that visualization is not just hooey, you know. When you visualize yourself, see yourself actually doing the thing that you want to do and succeeding at it, that's a powerful thing for your brain to take in then your brain just subconsciously begins to take steps to make that manifest. 
So believe that. That is really a strong message from your angels to just visualize where you want to go and you will go there. And then this one actually says, uh, this is release, and it says, work with Archangel Michael to let go of what no longer serves you or your purpose. And I say, what is it that's holding you back? There is something in there. That, there's a reason you're getting this reading. Look, you already have means. You already know how to give. You already have resources that you could share with others. So what in the world is holding you back? Whatever it is, you ask Archangel Michael's help in letting go. Archangel Michael is also one of the angels that can help with cutting cords. So if it's a relationship with somebody that you need to cut cords with, ask Archangel Michael to just cut those cords. If it's a pattern of thinking that is holding you back, oh, you couldn't possibly do that. Ask Archangel Michael to help you change that mode of thinking. Ask their advice, pray on it, meditate on it. It will come to you and then implement that advice. It will really get you out of this rut that I think that you're in. And then we have Ariadne from the Divine Feminine, Mistress of the Labyrinth. So the labyrinth may be what you think you're facing. You may feel that you cannot find your way and that you, that you, that you need help finding your way. And she says, my soul knows the way, and the only way out is through. So let's read about Ariadne. Ariadne represents love and support available to us when we dare to be courageous. And you're going to need to be courageous, courageous, because a lot of stuff is happening to you. Ariadne is known as being both a Greek goddess and the human daughter of Minos, king of Crete. Her father put her in charge of the labyrinth where seven human sacrifices were made every seven years to appease the Minotaur who lived within. Okay, there's more about her, but let's go to When Your Soul Selects Her Card. Ariadne is a symbol of hope, the divine assistance, and the step-by-step -step process we can take to move through a difficult time or to confront an injustice in our life. She helps Theseus because he's daring to end a pattern of madness. He's willing to do whatever needs to be done to stop the injustice. She gives him the tools to create his desired outcome. He is successful because of her. And she assists him because he acts with courage. Her message is that courage is always in some way rewarded. Okay, I think it's just going to say. So sometimes you may feel like you don't know how to find your way out of a situation, like whatever's holding you back. But if you allow the angels and your higher self and your spirit guides to guide you out of this whatever this labyrinth is you can get out and along the way you're going to learn things about yourself that are really really important and the last card I have is the crystal angel card and it comes up with amber and it says give it to God take a deep breath and on the exhale release this situation to God for healing and answers and I'm going to show you the card Okay, I'm going to put it down here for the minute and I'm going to go over and look up what the thing says. Um, you received this card because there's an issue weighing you down and this burden could be lifted by you giving it to God. You don't have to deal with this situation alone as divine help is readily available. Perhaps you forgot or maybe you are unsure how to let go and let God handle this situation. As you read this paragraph, pause for a moment to pray from your heart, asking for help to let this go with whatever words are sincere. Hanging on to a problem never resolves it and actually can make it worse. Amber reminds us that God has always been with us since the beginning of time and material existence. This reminder is meant to boost our faith that God knows how to solve any problem. However, we first have to give it to God because our fair free will choices are respected. So. Some of you may not resonate to the God. You know, you may want to substitute higher self or higher power or the universe or something when you hear the word God. Um, sometimes it's fine with me. Sometimes I have to substitute something as well because I do believe that there are God-like forces in the universe, but I think the universe is all one. I think that it's all really just all one and they're all aspects of that one. So... Anyway, that's my thing. So <laughs> that's the reading for those of you who picked 
the Selenite Palm Stone. I hope you enjoyed the reading and leave me comments below. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.